Um, so this has actually been very interesting, and I've I've um, I've really thoroughly enjoyed our conversations together, especially as more options for companies have opened up in terms of the early fundraising rounds. You know, uh, with the Jobs Act, with um, crowdfunding here, it's interesting that equity crowdfunding has actually been um, around for longer and has been more successful in the UK than it has okay. here. Have you guys actually had instances of crowdfunded companies IPO on the AIM? Yes. Um, really? So I think um, Free, Free Agent did last year. That's an accounting software company. So think about zero, but much smaller than zero. Mm -hmm. uh, so they were originally crowdfunding on a platform called Cedars. Uh, mm -hmm. And they went public um, last November. I think they were up about 50% post IPO. They're a public company, but probably now about $10 million of annual revenue, growing probably 40 to 50%. And they raised, I want to say, 15 or $20 million when they went public. Um, so I think that, and I think there was also another one recently, and I can't remember the name of it, but I think we've, we've probably had two now. Um, if you think about the fact that, you know, think about the funding cycle, Really, about three or four years ago is when equity crowdfunding started to take off in the in the US, in the UK rather, and so we should be starting to see those exits or those liquidity events, and we are starting to see them for those kind of companies. So, if you're a crowdfunding investor, you can actually turn around and say, "Yes, I'm actually benefiting from this activity. Look at this company coming public. We've had a number of very high profile of egg exits, mm. uh, especially in the kind of consumer." you know, like beverages space and things like that. We've had some really high profile ones. So there's that, you know, okay, we've had some failures too, but that's what you should expect. Yeah. But things are basically moving along as you would expect in that kind of area. And I think that this, you know, that they are, have been IPOs is, is a sign of the growing maturity of that particular space. Um, and I think there is a natural trajectory to move from AIM to, you know, getting a seed kind of size deal done in crowdfunding and then moving to aim to do larger deals makes a lot of sense to me for a number of these companies. Hmm.